Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do a book haul. You guys, this month I did really great at not buying a lot of books, but I did acquire 12 books. Thankfully, I only purchased maybe four or five of them and I actually only paid a total for those books, $5.72. So without further ado, let's get started with this book haul. The first book I want to show you is Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. And this book, actually I won from Megan Precourt over at her channel. She was hosting a giveaway and I was so excited to win because one, I've never won a giveaway before. So that was super exciting. And two, it was a book that I actually really wanted to read. So this just came in the mail. Thank you so much, Megan. I am so excited to read this. The next two books I have to show you are two books that I did purchase. It was at the very beginning of the month and I went into a Goodwill store and I got these for $1.99 each. And the first one is Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. And I've been wanting to read this book for a long time because I'm kind of getting into these psychological thrillers. And guys, I just love this book cover. Cover? What I meant to say was I love this book cover. I'm getting so excited I can't even speak English anymore. But when you remove the flap, you see the creepy haunting picture of the girl looking at herself in the steamy mirror. The book cover already gives me the chills and the heebie-jeebies, so I can only imagine what the story is actually going to make me feel like. The next book that I also got for $1.99 at Goodwill was Doll Baby by Laura Lane McNeil. And the reason why this intrigued me was this is actually a story based in New Orleans and I live in southern Louisiana now and I've been loving learning about the Louisiana culture. So many of you guys know I actually work at the Salvation Army here in my town. I'm the special events and volunteer coordinator and my office is actually connected like it's the building connected to our thrift store and guys we have a ton of books. So on a weekly basis I always go over there to see if any new books have been put into the thrift store and this this week I found Girl on a Train by Paula Hawkins and I just got done telling you guys that I've been liking those kind of suspenseful thriller books. I read all of Gillian Flynn's books, loved them. I just read You and Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes, loved them. And this book has got a lot of hype and people have said that if you like those types of books you are going to like Girl on a Train. I'm gonna give it a go and see what I think. Oh yeah, and this book only cost me one dollar, so woo woo! Alright friends, be prepared for your mouths to drop because this next book I got was 72 cents. Yes, 72 cents on Amazon because I used my Bing points, so that's exciting. And that book is The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book in the Remnant Chronicles, the first book being The Kiss of Deception. I read The Kiss of Deception with Mandy from Oh It's Mandy. We both loved it. And so I knew that she recently bought the book. I needed to get on it. I had some Bing reward points that I needed to redeem. And so when I did redeem them, I only had to pay 72 cents for this. So now I have it in my possession. It is beautiful. I will be reading this in August. All right, so these last batch of books were actually going to be thrown away. And so I couldn't let that happen and I decided they were gonna come home with me and I would give them a good home. So the first book I have to show you is 99 Days by Katie Contungo or however you say her last name. I did actually read this the other week and I have a non-spoiler book review and I will leave that link down below. This book has such a beautiful cover and it has some amazing illustrations on the inside. It just looks so beautiful on my shelf and the fact that it was free was even better. The next two books I believe kind of go together. So the first one is The Curse of the Good Girl and the second one is Odd Girl Out and they are both by Rachel Simmons and I believe these books deal with the pressures of being a teenage girl and I believe these books encourage the reader how to talk to teenage girls and tell them to just embrace their true selves and building up self-confidence and all that good stuff. I've 
never really read books like this, but recently I've really been into women empowerment and encouraging girls and women to be the best that they can be. So I thought I would actually enjoy these books. So I'm adding these to my collection. The next book I have to show you I got purely based on the fact that I've never read a book by this author before and that is Lone Wolf by Jodi Picoult and I actually looked it up on Goodreads and it didn't really have good ratings on Goodreads so if you guys have read this book definitely let me know what you thought and if you recommend another book by this author maybe I should check that out instead. I don't know. The next book I have to show you guys is Half Wild by Sally Green. This is the second book and I have not read the first, so I probably need to get on that before I pick this one up. All right guys, I'm about to blow the pantaloons off of you because I could not believe that this was about to be thrown away. And that is The Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. What I know, when I saw this in the trash bin, I freaked out probably like you're freaking out right now. But don't worry guys, I saved it. It's in my possession and I really, really, really want to read it in August. So the last book I have to show you is quite the hunk of a book. And I did not realize that it was book seven in a series and I only own book one and I haven't even read that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this book, but um, it is An Echo in the Bone by Diana Gabaldon, yeah. The author of Outlander. Now I have the Outlander book, and actually I'm gonna go get that for you guys because you're gonna crack up when I show you the difference between the two. All right, so my copy of Outlander is this little tiny thing, and then I have now book number seven. So um, yeah, they're a little bit different in size. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but now I have books one and book seven. All right, friends, well that wraps it up for this month's book haul. Let me know below if you have read any of these books, maybe which book you are most excited for me to read, and if you have another Jodi Picoult book that maybe I should pick up over the one I got, because like I said, the ratings weren't that great. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and like always, I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye.